welcome to Break Run, where we talk about our top 10, our top 5, and whatever we can talk about in this lovely two-person format. And once again, I'm joined by my co-host, Mr. Dan. Hello, and uh, in this episode, we're going to be doing our top 5 best dark rides in the world. In the world. I said that weird world. Weird, weird. Weird. Yeah, in the world. Um, so, do you want me to go first? Yeah, you go first. I'll go first. Okay, we're going to start off with number five for me is Ratatouille at Disneyland Paris. Oh, such a good ride. Well, guess what? Mine is number five, which is Ratatouille as there well. There we go, there we go. Short video again. Here we go. Um, I'll, I'll, you go then. No, no, you. Okay, love this ride. When I first went on it, I thought I've never been on anything like this. In fact, I think this was the first ever dark ride, uh, trackless dark ride. I've Not in the on. world, no. No, for me. Oh, for you. Yeah, for me. Oh, okay. this, this, I thought you this, meant this, in the world. No, this was this was my uh, this was my like first, and I thought, oh my god, this is amazing. The set pieces were incredible. Yeah, especially in that fridge area. Oh, the fridge, the smell. Oh, and, the you, s- and then you go underneath the oven, and you get all the flames and stuff. I was like, this is mad. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna lie. Some people are gonna be like, what? But I have never seen Ratty do what? it. What? I've never seen it. Do you know? Do you want to know a random fact? Right, the the file size of Ratatouille the movie is less than the Ratatouille ride, uh, what's it called, like, video screen files added up. No. Uh, yeah. The files for the film, the, the rides, like, screens, if you put them all in one big timeline, yeah. the, the file gig is, like, massive compared to the film. I'm really intrigued that after, <laughs> after this. I need to find that out. I'm really intrigued. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I l- love this ride, everything about it. Yeah. Uh, even the queue line, mate. Like, you feel like you're outside when you're on the, uh, is it the, on the on roof? roof? Yeah. And you just see the... Gustav. Is that, is yeah, that what, the, the restaurant. Yeah, the restaurant. And then uh, the guy, the chef with the pan and stuff with the yeah. moon, he comes through. Oh, so beautiful. good. It, it really is. a beautiful is. ride. And, like, I rode it with Lee mm. uh, for the first time, and Bez and Chloe and uh, Toby. And we all went on it. We all rode it for the first time together. And we all went, oh my God, this is amazing. We all were like, it was a long queue anyway. It was like 35 minutes. 35 minutes. That's not long. But for that me, that's long. long. <laughs> but no, it's it's definitely up there as our number five. Oh, beautiful. It is a good ride. What is your number four? My number four is Gringotts. Ah. Oh. At Universal. Or was it all islands of it? I always it's, get confused. Uh, Gringotts is a Universal Orlando. Um, some people think it's not a dark ride. I'm classing this as a dark ride, personally, yeah. in my eyes. It's got a coaster element Elements. to it all. Um, this thing is next level. I've not ridden it. I tell you what, Jake, when we go in September, <sighs> you're going to be Subscribe. like, I can see why this is in your top five because yeah. this ride has everything from the effects to the screens. Because you do have to wear 3D glasses and stuff. Yeah. Do you have to wear that? Yeah, you do. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's, just, it's just one scene in it. And I don't want to spoil it. No, do you know what? I'm not going to spoil it. But yeah, it's just fantastic. Yeah. It's such a good, strong Right. I'm really excited to get on it because like when I went last time it opened like two weeks after I left oh I would have been good and so yeah I'm excited to get back on it and if you're not subscribed to the Off The Tracks channel make sure to subscribe to see all the Orlando content coming in September I oh, so can't wait for that can't wait. also the queue line is one of the best queue lines you will ever walk I've seen through. pictures and videos of so it good. I can't wait so good go so, on then dude what's your number well, four my number four is a uh, uh, what's it called a dark coaster as well it's a roller coaster and dark ride which is Mission Ferrari at uh, Ferrari World in Abu Dhabi, which is the roller coaster that, that took, uh, was it something like seven years to build and Jeez. open? Um, and it opened for like two months and then closed for like a year and it only just reopened. I think you're like the only Brits that have ever been <laughs> yeah, on it. I, I know. Swear to like God. Sean and Charlotte from Thibault Worldwide went over and it wasn't even open for God, them. Amazing, and like, it. yeah, it was. it's a very good ride. Like, I, Is it I, smooth? Is it really? It's got a little bit of a rattle because. I think that's because of the type of coaster it is. It's a Dynamics coaster by Dynamic whatever attraction. I don't know. Right. But it's it's a motion coaster. It's got like motion platforms. It's basically Gringotts with nice. live act, like live set pieces instead of the screens. Um, oh, there is a screen. Um, not spoiling some of the elements because some of the elements are very clever for the, what the rise does. It's got two inversions. One that's very prominent. You can right. see outside. The other one is inside. It's a backwards inversion. Oh, my God. I know, but that's amazing. I know, but it has the world's only sideways drop. Oh, yeah, I'm intrigued. It's now. it's not the sideways drop's not the best, but it's got something like three launches, and they're very snappy launches. I'm intrigued now, but I need to get out there. It's you need to get out there. Oh, well, if it's open, <laughs> well, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Right. So, uh, is it my number three? Uh, yes, your number my three. number three is Spider Man. Spider Man. Spider Man. Um, Islands of Adventure? 
Yes. Yes. Amazing. It is. Love this ride. You've been on it. Oh, I've done that one and the one that's just recently closed at Universal Studios Japan. Of course you have, yes. Um, I mean, from the queue line when you're walking through, uh, like the offices, and stuff, it's just so well thought out and it was way before its time yes. when it got created because and it's still like really modern for what it is now absolutely I think one of the best moments on that ride right is when you're sitting down and Spider-Man jumps onto the front of your car and it bounces, and it bounces with it and everything like it's it's perfectly made that ride and I'm a huge Spider-Man fan so when I saw it I saw the villains there yeah. as well I was like oh my god the Sinister Six this is great oh the effects of it it's not just all screens as well you've also yeah. got you know uh, set pieces as well fantastic ride it is Go on then, dude. What's your number three? My number three is... Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, Pirateen in Bratavia at Europa Park. Ah, good shout. Yeah, so, I do love Pirates of the Car- Caribbean at the Disney parks. It's, they're great rides. They really are. However, Pirates in Bratavia just pushed it for me. I thought there was a bit more of immersion. And we are talking about the remodeled version. Yes. Not, not the... the pre-fire version. Um, and when we rode this together... It's great. Isn't it? I think we had a really good first run because I think the lantern at the at the front of the boat when it went out when you did the drop yeah. was great. I don't think that ever happened. That didn't happen in second, on the second time we went on it. Um, no. But yeah, for the set pieces there, Mr. Mac himself was in there as oh, well. Mr. Michael I think, Mac. I think, I think you were like, oh, that is my, I was Michael like, oh my Mac. God. He doesn't like a pet. Oh, there he is. There he is. Um, but no, fantastic, mate. I, yeah. I, I, do you know what, mate? I wouldn't be surprised if that was anyone's number one because it is such it a is. nice ride. It's good. so good. And the queue line. Oh it's so my good. Gosh, I and I've many. got so many funny photos of you in the queue line. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we won't say uh, much more. If yeah. you want to see them, go onto the OCT Discord and you can see them. Yeah, you see that. There you go. Um, but no, fantastic dark ride. What's your uh, number, number two? Is it number two number now? Two yes. Now. My number two is very similar to Spider Man. It is Transformers. Ooh, Transformers. Another good dark ride. I kind of prefer Spider Man though. I yes, I can see I can see the flip side on that, but uh Transformers in my eyes just gives it that extra edge. I think it's uh, obviously it's more modern, uh the screen quality is a lot better. Yeah. Um I think I think certain bits as well you can rise no, you can actually rise up on the Spider Man. I think there's a bit where you go up. I know on I know on Transformers like it, it, the, when you're looking at a screen, you're basically going up yes. a level, aren't you? It's, it's so level. bizarre how it's done. Yeah. Um the cars are amazing. Oh, it's just such a good Octobots ride. roll out and even hearing the voices as well from it because I was a massive Transformer fan yeah. as well I'm not really into Transformers but I love the ride yes the ride's very good the, 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 ride is, the ride is really good the queue line is incredible as well yeah. Um, so yeah it's straight up there as my number two so what is your number two my you? number two is Indiana Jones Adventure so it's kind of the same near enough there are clones at uh, what's it called Disney's California Disney in California in the main park and Disney's Tokyo Disney Sea that, that basically got the same ride so I'm classifying them the same. Okay. Um, basically, it's uh, a type of ride that's. Have you done dinosaur? At no. Animal Kingdom. Although it's closing soon. No. Is it? I don't know. Probably. Someone says it was closing. I can't remember. It probably is. I don't even know what's going on with it's Disney old. anymore. I've I just know. moved away. Um, but um, it's basically like an off-road ride that you're going through this temple with Indiana. And you've got to go and uh, find the crystal skull and stuff like this. And the ending scene. It is one of the best scenes I've the, ever yeah. seen on a dark ride. I, I know how it's worked, but when I went on it, I was like, what? How does this work? Isn't it, it the whole thing with the ball? Yeah, so the ball is basically, you're rolling there and you're bouncing back and forth in the ride, but basically the whole set is moving towards you. Like, what on earth? So basically what it feels like, it feels like the ball is coming towards you and then flashing lights and you j- basically jump. And come around the corner and you see that actually you you were saved and Indiana saved you and stuff. Honestly, fantastic ride. Uh, It's got leg ticklers, everything. It is the overall package of a dark ride. And the on-ride music is amazing because when you... When you're adventuring around this temple and you hear do 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 do, the whole oh, thing is genuinely fantastic. Oh mate! If you get the chance to ride it, it's one I, I I don't know an experience that I've came off and I was like, oh my god! And this was my number one dark ride for ages until I rode what my number one is now. Ah, I'm intrigued now actually to find out. Yeah. Okay, my number one. Okay. I don't think you've been on it. Is Forbidden Journey? I have been on Forbidden Journey. I've done three Forbidden versions of it. Yeah, I mean. For starters, when you first, not even when you walk into the queue line, when you look at Hogwarts oh, and you just think walking through Hogsmeade and just seeing, seeing in the and distance. I was like, you can't see the actual, you know, the the uh, the, the show building yeah, behind it all. And I was just like, when you first, in Hollywood, you can. 
which really oh, okay, is, yeah. Oh, yeah, no. it makes it not like with Orlando in Japan it's kind of really nice and covered by trees or, or Hollywood it's built on top of a hill so you can just see the show building see anywhere it. but yeah when you go through there it's amazing you go yeah. through the queue line like through Hogwarts and you've got all the like you know, all the moving pictures oh. and stuff or the holograms certain set pieces where you see Harry himself and I Hermione. think it's the definite of what a movie dark ride should be absolutely I was gutted that they, they had no queue I wanted to queue up yeah. to see but then the the queue just goes like mad. It's, yes. it's honestly like they say it's a forty-five minute queue, and it's more like twenty minutes because yeah. it's continuously moving it ride, and they've got a single riders on it. So then that quick not the only up. downfall I have with it is absolutely chaotic when uh, you're putting your bags in their yeah. lockers because but it's very much like oh my gosh that's just universal though it's just like, their, their so rules. bad but overall love this ride love the set pieces oh, yeah. the dragon scene is amazing in there how they've used this first ever technology of the domes where they use separate domes yeah. into it and you're going in there's a really good video online on how that works yeah. Adventure Amusement Insider or something like that did a really good video I mean who comes up with right we're going to get this robot arm and we're going to stick it in this dome and as it moves with it all and they it- more go with like they go okay we've got this we've got this idea of a harry potter riding on a quidditch going through mm. what's the best ride system ah look there's a robo arm but let's put it on a track and see how it Such goes genius but idea. they they owned that the license for that ride system i mean for years and so no one else could use it and then abu dhabi warner brothers made a batman version of it with the same ride system, so I'm guessing they don't mm. they don't own the special rights for it anymore. Probably not. I well, don't know. I'm looking forward to Epic Universal because they're bringing that system into the Monsters yeah. ride. Apparently, apparently. Well, we'll find out. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, that's my number one forbidden journey. Go on, Andy. What's my your number, number one? one is you've definitely not ridden it, which is Efteling, which is Symbolica, the trackless dark ride, which has three routes heading through the castle of Pardul. Oh, I think that's his name. Nice. I don't know. Which is he's the main mascot, and he's like the jester of this ma- of this castle and stuff. And you're going through and seeing all the Efteling like characters and the main characters and how they live in the magical nice. world, and it's beautiful. And do you know? It's one of those rides. Okay, people may come off it and go. They've been on Forbidden Journey. And go. Oh, it's not as exciting as yeah. that. But the magic and the feel that I've seen, gave. seen bits of it where you've got the staircases and you've got all these like, oh, LED lights like, tw- and twinkling And the staircase and opens sh- and you walk downstairs. To go, that's where you go to the station. Um, a beautiful pre-show, beautiful soundtrack. One of the most beautiful soundtracks. And it's re-radable because obviously, like you said, it's yeah, got three, three routes. And you can choose them. You don't have to... You're not, you've not got a grumpy, what, teenager going, row one, please. <laughs> Like with that, you can just choose which one, everyone you want. Guys, to let us know in the comments below. Do, what is your favourite dark ride in the world? It can be still in the UK or it could be in America, wherever it is. Do you agree with Jake? Do you think Symbolica is the number one, or do you think myself? Forbidden Journey is. That's it. Like I said, guys, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to follow us on our social medias on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. And if you are new to this channel, make sure you do subscribe and hit this bell icon every time we upload a new video. You will be notified. So I'm Dan. I'm Jay. And thank you for watching. And as always, happy riding. That's the one. See you in the next one.